be YouTube? <laughs> All right, hello everybody. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what is going on. I am driving, so sorry I, I, I can't really like um, read your comments or anything like that. But just want to let you know, got some exciting news that is going on. Um, if you saw the the cover, the um, what do they call that? The click, the the clickbait, <laughs> the. Um, what do you call that? The little things, the little screen. Anyhow, um, my passport came through, so that's one less hurdle. Although, you know, the fact that Thailand is still locked down <laughs> is a major hurdle, and America's uh, COVID crazy right now, like one of the COVID capitals of the world. So um, that is all on hold. So you know, at least getting the passport, I have it on hand. I'm. Um, going to be able to travel as soon as things open up and, and some normalcy if returns if that ever happens. But um, if you saw the, the headline about $20 pension, uh, that is actually what I just found out the other day. I, um, you know, I've been watching a lot of the Thai channels, the expats, as well as um, just channels that show cost of living and stuff in Thailand as I try to prepare um, to move down there, basically to potentially retire down there. So I've been trying to make connections on the tie-in with different groups and different people. You know, that might be helpful for somebody wanting to relocate, uh, to visit or, or possibly retire. And I actually stumbled on a channel of, um, there was a, um, a real estate agent that was on Chris's channel, which is, I, I think he's like retired and working for you or something like that is Chris's channel. But uh, one of the real estate agents on there has her own channel and I actually saw it where she interviewed her mother and it turns out that her mother is retired in Thailand and getting a pension from the Thai government and I found out shockingly <laughs> that they only pay the retired people in Thailand at least you know her mother as a retired uh, worker on pension 600 baht per month Right now, with the exchange rate roughly 30 baht per dollar, that comes up to $20 a month. That is like really low. Um, so obviously, you know, um, Jira, the, the the girl who's the real estate agent, was talking about how you know her mom kind of still needs support from her because $20 a month, 600 baht, you can't live off that. But that's what the government is, as far as I know, the government is expecting people to live off in, in Thailand if they're retired. I don't know what her mom works, or, you know, what she did. So I might have to find out some more information. But basically, if somebody's making only a pension of $20 uh, a month, that's way less than what my retirement's going to be, which, you know, by American standards, my retirement is like nothing, chicken scratch. I'm not even... I can't live off my retirement in America, but in Thailand, I think I can. And if they're saying that somebody in Thailand can live off $20, which I doubt, <laughs> which Jira is showing that you, you really can't, um, I think my chance of being okay over there will be you know, will be all right if I can live like the Thai people and not live like a Western. I think Westerners tend to spend more money, like you know we were talking about it on previous episodes where they might not see anything wrong with buying coffee for $3 you know, two or three dollars for one coffee. But, it, you know, me, three dollars for one cup of coffee or two dollars is kind of expensive um, in America or in Thailand. So, I'm going to be digging a little bit deeper to try to find out how much real Thai people, you know, actual Thai people require to live, as long as they're not living like um, lavish, you know, a Western style. But um, I will be linking Jira's channel. She has a real estate channel on YouTube where she showcases a bunch of houses and stuff and um, you know what they cost houses and condos and, and other living facilities so you, you know it's, it's worth following just to see how much things cost and what things look like over there for the higher end I, I think from looking at her videos I think most of the stuff she shows is um, kind of higher end by Thai standards I think even by American standards but they're cheaper than in America but expensive for a Thai person but some of you who are retiring with a decent um, retirement, pension, and you know savings plans and stuff might actually find those videos useful. And if you're looking to relocate to Thailand, you'll have um, an insider, you know, a real estate agent who um, 
can speak, I think she speaks English, German, and is working on French, and of course Thai. So multilingual, her English is pretty good. Um, I was able to understand her English as well as her Thai, which is good, which is good for me because I'm trying to learn Thai, you know. So I'll be putting a link to her channel. You can check that out. You can support her channel just by uh, subscribing to her channel, you know, watching the videos, letting the ads run just like you do on here. Uh, she also has like a members thingy. I don't know what's on that members, but it'll help support her. I don't know if you know the, the situation for the, um, the Thai tourism and real estate. It's really bad because the country is shut down right now. So the tourism industry, well, it's like that here in Florida too. All those people are like unemployed. <laughs> no money, okay? And then um, real estate, obviously with people not being able to go there, they're not making any sales or very few sales. It's uh, difficult. So make sure you check out her channel. I'll provide a link on the about in this video when it, you know, after it finishes airing. And I'll probably post a little link in the comments. So check that out. As far as me, um, several exciting news, okay? First off, I'm probably not going to be able to go to Thailand for a while. I've already accepted that fact, even though it's kind of depressing. You know, it's like I have my passport and I can't go anywhere. <laughs> That's bad. But at least I got the passport, which anyone who tried to file for a passport over the last couple months, you know what I'm talking about. It has been like one big red, one big hassle. It's not like normally it should take a couple weeks, but right now it's like there's a backlog. And even once you get your passport, trying to get a visa and stuff can get complicated. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for all this to settle down. I'm waiting for it to settle down. But at least I have um, a contact in Thailand who is a real estate agent. You know that could help potentially help me but as well as help um, viewers on this channel who are wanting to relocate um and because she's good at english that's important because my thai even though i can speak thai i can't really read and write thai yet i'm trying to learn and even if i could read and write i'm still not fluent you know i have I have the vocabulary of a seven-year-old <laughs> but anyhow exciting news for me on a personal front um a while back i told you that my job said, um, you know, that the benefits uh, like dental and stuff were only available for full time. But I, you know, because they, they said they were checking with me to see what my plans were. And originally I was planning on potentially going to Thailand as early as January, February of this year. But now I'm looking at delaying it for possibly a year or more indefinitely. But I, when I say indefinitely, I know that probably within two to five years, I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to be in Thailand. That's still my goal. But I know I'll probably be here at least one more year. So my job asked me if I'd be interested in um, staying on and then possibly even moving up towards full time. And, you know, I said, yeah, I would love it. But it turns out they're not going to offer full time till like next summer. You know, they're trying to save money. So um, until they actually need you or need me for full time, they want to keep me at part time. But then I put it on the table anyways. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask. I, I asked him, I said, hey, look, um, is there any way you can get dental? <laughs> That's what I've been, um, you know, trying to, to get fixed. And even though I had viewers on this channel, you know, offering to pay for my teeth being, fi being fixed, I didn't want that because it's expensive, okay? And it's the kind of stuff that if you have to pay out of pocket, anyone who's tried to pay dental or have dental work done out of pocket, you know what I'm talking about. It is ridiculously expensive so you need to be on some kind of um insurance plan and if you have to do your own insurance you know it may be worth it but it's still super expensive so it's best to try to get into a job where you have um dental coverage and my job says that the, their dental plan is actually 100 percent, meaning that as far as i know i don't have to pay anything out of pocket or I mean, I might have to pay out of pocket, but I don't think I have to pay for the coverage. Like, they signed me up for the coverage, so I don't have to pay hundreds of dollars or whatever for the plan every month. But I only have to pay whatever the dental fee is. I don't know. I'll have to look at the charts once I get a link to all that. But basically, today, I got called into the office, and, um, you know, they said that they managed to ask around. And even though normally you have to be full-time to get these benefits... They were able to sneak me in. They were able to get me in somehow. So, um, you know, thankfully, my job is looking out for me. You know, they like me. They want me to be okay. So they were able to squeeze me in and get me um, dental coverage. So that's really, really good. 
I am um, I'm going to be um, getting my teeth fixed. It doesn't kick into January, but as soon as it kicks in and I look at the chart and see how much it's going to cost me, I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do yet, depending on, on how expensive it is. Potentially um, implant or potentially just a bridge. I don't know. What do they call that? You know, but uh, basically I will get my teeth fixed. So my smile <laughs> won't look like this. You know, um, that'll be nice. The other thing is with Jira, um, she has her own YouTube channel and it is monetized. Um, it's still kind of small. I think she has like 3,000, 4,000, 3,500 subs or whatever, but growing. Um, she was featured on Chris's channel, you know, the Retired and Working for You. So her channel, I expect, will go up pretty fast. But also, I'm trying to work out a deal with her to be a, a like a sister channel with this one because I, I'm not able to go into Thailand. So I'm hoping that she'll accept the agreement and do the deal. And then if she does, then we're going to get some videos from Thailand um, with her showing like uh things in thailand like maybe food you know like eating and, and cooking and stuff maybe her cooking or showing uh different places and stuff uh and then we would co-air you know the videos on her channel as well as here so that is my hope um i am looking here uh, tim's putting the damper on my teeth with your teeth as such it's still going to come from your pockets depending on if you have good roots well, I'm hoping that it's not going to be too expensive. Um, if it's, I don't know, we'll find out. We'll find out how good it is, you know. Because she, she said, um, I guess they have the coverage and you can pick several providers. I don't know how, how the plan works. I'm going to find out. But I know it's going to be cheaper than me trying to sign up by myself, you know, and paying for everything completely out of pocket. Um, going with the plan, hopefully it'll be reduced, you know, and affordable. Um, not like crazy, crazy. If it's too crazy, I may just go ahead and get the, the bridge. You know, the, you know, I guess they've had like fake teeth that cover the gap, you know, instead of um, actual implant. You know, originally I was going to do an implant. It was like $2,800, $2,800 per tooth. And that's if you didn't have any complications. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen when I drive down the um, the river, all the you know, the riverside drive that I do every once in a while. I don't know if I've ever shown you those houses, those mansions, but those are dentists. <laughs> yeah, all those houses are, t are paid for by people's teeth. Um, let me scroll through here. I'm going to go ahead and sign out because I don't want to go on too long. It looks like um, I was looking at the, the YouTube statistics, and it looks like most people actually only watch about four to five minutes of my videos. So me putting on like a 20, 30-minute video, it actually hurts the channel because people don't really watch it that long. So you're going to see short videos again coming from this channel, hopefully under, I'm going to try to keep them under 15 minutes at the most. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Wanted to let you guys know what is going on. It looks like I'm stuck in the United States for a while. I'll be updating you a little bit about my living arrangements and plans because things have changed dramatically because I'm not leaving in a month or two. <laughs> I was planning on like up and leaving, you know, flying away like a free bird. But um, COVID and the political situation and everything else going on around the world in Thailand, um, the United States and Thailand, basically, um, has cooked my wings. So I'm bracing down right now for a slightly longer haul, but in a way taking advantage of the situation because I'm, you know, I'm going to be able to work more hours this summer. I really love my job. You know, I'm, I'm actually going to be involved now more with uh, the 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 space station and moon base that they're trying to build. So that is exciting, you know? So to be a part of that, that's just something I, I would never ever dream <laughs> was actually going to be in my future. But here I am. Um, I don't have the patches. They actually give me patches and everything for the mission and everything. It's like, I'm official. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, George, good to see you. AA angry. Mo bang. Um, Mang says, most Asian folks rely on their kids to retire. That's how things work in Asia. Yeah, the kids are expected to support their parents in the golden years. That's actually what Jira's doing. Um, you know, she she was uh, went to visit. She's like an Asian um, kid, you know, an Asian child, daughter, and um, taking care of her mother as best as she can. It's kind of difficult right now for her because she is a real estate agent. And obviously, with the country shut down, and foreigners not allowed to come in. Most of her, the real estate I think that she sells is kind of higher end, aimed at um, you know expats moving to Thailand. You know, like fifty thousand, a hundred thousand in America is like normal or cheap. 
you know, for like a retirement house, a house. But in Thailand, those are like luxury, luxurious. It's what you would pay in America, like in California, especially maybe 10 million or 200, I mean, 10 to 20 million dollars. You could probably pick up in Thailand for between 50 to 150 thousand dollars. You know, when you convert the, the money. But uh, check out her video. Give me a minute after it updates, you know, after this video updates, and I'll provide links to her real estate um, page. And you can um, watch that to see the condos and stuff that are available. And contact her if you're interested in buying them, you know, or, or trying to figure out how to get there and stuff. But the other thing is, she, I think she started to do kind of a vlog. And that's what I'm trying to get her to partner with me on. If she can do like the vlogs and co publish them there and here. So you basically get some um, glimpses of Thailand, you know, for those of you who enjoy uh, seeing other countries and cultures and foods, uh, even though I'm not able to go there personally. For me, it's a chance to uh, build a connection and a network with Thai people and uh, try to establish some people that might be helpful for those of you like me that are looking to move to Thailand. So until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Please stay safe. Um, I'm going to let you guys go. Bye-bye uh, now.